Hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome to one of my first brand reviews for 2022. Um, as mentioned, I do want to film a few more of these and I thought I would start with French favourite Cezanne, which is a brand that you'll probably all know that I personally really like to shop from because I'm always just so taken by their designs, the aesthetic. I think it's really beautiful, very, very feminine and very typically French. So what I want to do is share a few items which are new in and then I'm also also going to talk through some of the core items from the brand which I have talk about the wear and tear whether or not I actually think they're kind of worth it and yeah give you my honest opinion I do want to know what other brands you'd like to see me do this sort of video for it can be one I don't have in my closet I can do more of the first impressions leave them in the comments below but let's dive into it so um, also just for full transparency these three items I'm going to share which are new they were gifted uh, the other items I've purchased with my own money so I want to start with the one which really got me the most excited when I saw it on the website. It is called the Linda Top and it is this really lovely cotton knitted top with uh, I would say almost a grey OT base with then a dark grey and a navy flecked all throughout it. It has this scalloped lace or crochet lace detailing along the uh, shoulder and armhole and then square neckline and I really like a square neckline because I think it's very kind of modern uh, but also feeling vintage inspired at the same time and it's also just a little bit different for me in my closet. This is incredibly structured, a lot more so than I had anticipated when I was adding it to my cart and I have to say I think that this is definitely a style that is more suited to those who have a smaller chest as opposed to a larger one. As I find as a large C cup it's not exactly the most flattering for me around the chest area and hopefully that'll be evident in the cutaways. Um, I do think the quality of this is absolutely beautiful though and I will say from experience from uh, shopping a few of the different kind of cotton pieces from Cezanne it is definitely a category which for me always holds up and I find to be very much worth it. They wear well, they wash well and are items that you can expect to have in your closet for a really long time. Uh, I got my usual size uh, 8 US 4 or size small sorry this one's a size small and yeah I would say it does fit true to size but definitely one I would kind of more recommend for smaller chested gals uh, also just to note it is really really weighty and structured so it doesn't really tuck that well. Now in the cutaways I will also have some outfit ideas so you see how I've paired it there. I actually think it looks really nice worn loose almost kind of scrunched up a little bit in the front. I have this patent skirt from Tebby which looks quite cute with it and it does end up changing your proportions a little bit and kind of uh, giving you a longer torso if that's something that you are after. But that is the first item. Then the second one I have done a styling reel on Instagram for so if you want to go and watch that highly recommend. I had so much fun filming and actually so many more outfit ideas that I could share. This really is a cult classic item for Cezanne. It is their Lulu trouser or Lulu pant. I've got them in the black uh, just because I wanted to go for a really classic option. I thought that these would be a perfect workwear piece uh, and also I didn't really have anything that was quite like this. Uh, the fabric is a polyester. It's a really kind of thick suiting sort of a style and then you do have the little belt loops here as well with the buttons, has a side zip closure and then pockets on the hip. These are incredibly long through the leg. I haven't gotten mine tailored yet but I definitely need to because I'd probably wear these most with some flat sandals. I think that is definitely my preferred way or even with some sneakers. Uh, but yeah in terms of the quality of these I don't really know what I was expecting from the fabric uh, but it definitely is very robust. It's really really thick and is something that I don't anticipate snagging. However it is prone to creasing so whenever I lay it over a coat hanger I do find that there is a crease that I then need to iron out each time I go to kind of try them on or wear them so that's one thing I did want to flag I do find the sizing is a little bit more on the relaxed size of the spectrum so I got them my usual 36 uh, just for reference I'm a true AU8 and I do have a little bit of give and room but I wouldn't want to size down to a 34 they would definitely be way too small for me so I reckon if you're in between go with the larger of the two but yeah I, I mean I think there are so many different ways that you can style these both for the office and also for the weekend but I think being black, they do feel a little bit more formal and elegant. So I think if you wanted something that was going to be more of a casual 
attire option then I would recommend going with one of the other colors that they do on this trouser but I can totally understand the hype and why uh, so many people have been opting for these trousers especially as wide leg pants have been a massive trend over the past sort of six to twelve months then the final item I received as part of some gifting is the mini farrow bag and I picked this particular version out which is in this raffia with this really fun print on it in the almost it's kind of a purple toned burgundy and then the navy blue and I thought this would be a really cute style to have in my summer wardrobe uh, bucket bags I have to say they're a very particular category of bag and I get asked whether or not I think a bucket bag is worth it and I if you're going to sort of lean into that style there are a few things you need to be okay with one if it's got a leather uh, fastening like this it potentially will wear over time so you'll want to use a leather conditioner in order to keep the leather nourish supple smooth so that it doesn't crack because I've had that happen to me with leather bucket bags in the past uh, additionally it's not going to close the entire way and actually the, the tie itself can be a little bit uh, fussy it is going to be one open compartment so a little bit of a black hole unless it is a smaller style and actually one of the things to note with the bag that I received is that it does kind of pucker inwards ever so slightly and that's just sort of the shape of the bag and putting things in it I haven't really found uh, changes it too much unless I was to sort of stuff it like that maybe over time it will um, correct its shape but I did want to mention that I do also wish that the strap was ever so slightly shorter but in terms of the quality the leather is really beautiful that has kind of been my experience with Cezanne's leather goods is that they really are in line with other bags that I've purchased at that particular price point um, and yeah I, I think it's going to be quite a fun cute style for spring summer if you want an updated review on this later in the year or early next year let me know happy to share uh, but yeah I can see why it's a classic design um, I do think the mini is probably the largest I personally would go uh, especially if you want to wear it crossbody because it doesn't stick out too much now I want to talk through some of the classics that I have from the brand and talk through my feelings on them and actually I want to start with one that is still a no for me when I placed my very first order from Cezanne it was a complete fail I didn't like anything that I purchased and I really really felt quite disheartened and also uh, I didn't actually check the composition properly when I was placing my order which was my own fault I think I would have shopped very very differently if I had um, so I ended up returning everything and uh, I I felt a bit disheartened because I'd heard so many people rave about Cezanne this is one of their most classic styles and I still don't get the hype and that is the Gaspard knit so this is actually a blended fabric so it does have some polyamide in it which I personally don't love and I've had really poor experiences with Cezanne's polyamide knits in the past I think really you have to dry clean them every time I've put them in the wash they've come out feeling really different and I've been too afraid to clean this one I've only dry cleaned it uh, but yeah the, I think the appeal with the Gaspard is that it can be worn three ways you can wear it like this like a jumper you can wear it like a jumper at the front with the buttons all the way down you can wear it open you can wear it partially open so you do have options with this style and I think that's that's probably a huge part of its appeal however I do find the crew neckline and the way it sits a little bit too mumsy for me I find the fit a bit boxy and I don't really love the texture of it either this color I don't think is really my color which is probably why I haven't reached for it all too much I'm wearing it in the size small by the way uh, and yeah I, I just feel a little bit frumpy when I put this on unfortunately I do see it on other people and it looks lovely but it is just not the one for me and I think if you had your heart set on the Gaspard maybe consider a few different alternatives uh, I personally really really like Cezanne's cotton knits and I think that is definitely a better place to start otherwise their merino wool knits are really really lovely too I think we'll continue on with sweaters and I want to highlight a knit that I think is really worth it and one which I absolutely adore it is the Leon time jumper so I've got it here in the crew with the navy stripe but it's really really almost black uh, I really want to add it to my wardrobe in the navy with the white stripe I think that's beautiful too uh, this is 100% cotton although the placket on it is a, a synthetic I think it's sort of a nylon gross gain or something like that but it does have the really beautiful little Henley style with the tortoiseshell buttons down the front 
This is a relaxed fit, so it is quite wide through the body, which you can probably see from me holding it here. And then it has a very, very typical detail from Cezanne, the blues on sleeves. And yeah, I, I, I love this. I actually almost wish I'd sized up to a medium. I put this in the wash and it washes really well. One thing I will note though is when I put it on for the first time, I did feel like it had shrunk ever so slightly. However, all I had to do was just kind of tug at the fabric, not too hard, but just give it a little bit of a tug to stretch it back out to its original shape. And then it was exactly like new. Uh, so for me, this has been one that's been well worth the money and it's held up really well. And again, this is probably one of their most cult classic pieces that they do and well worth it. Um, sometimes I do find it a little bit tricky to style just with the Henley detail and how boxy it is, but it's a real classic and uh, one that I continue to reach for. I think I've had this for oh, a year and a half, maybe close to two years. Actually, yeah, about two years now and yeah, one of my faves in my closet. I did just want to mention if you like the Leontine style, but you want something that's more of a cardigan, then the Capuchins cardigan is a really lovely alternative. It's essentially the same fit, but in cardigan format. And this one here is an open, open knit, uh, really, really beautiful. And I, I really like wearing this one as a top actually uh, buttoned up. It comes in a few different colors too. Uh, so that's that one. Now let's talk about the James sweater. Now I'm pretty sure that this is one of Cezanne's classic styles. I have it in the khaki or the moss green and the detail that really sold this to me were the buttons on the shoulder and this actually is quite a common thread for the Cezanne pieces I've noticed. I like the fact that it's the this sort of mottled uh, leopard print in a frost with a gold backing. This is a cable knit sweater. It is really, really chunky and really robust. Uh, and I think a really nice one to wear in the winter. I don't find it itchy at all. It is super duper warm and super cozy. I have mine in the size small and I think it does fit true to size. The only thing I will say is that I have noticed that there is some pilling to the fabric already. I would say I've probably worn it about five times. So did just want to mention that you'll definitely want to have a fabric shaver on hand just to sort of tidy up and give it a little bit of a refresh. But this is definitely one that I think has been worth the money. Um, okay, so I've got one more top here before I move to the other items I've got on the rail. Now, this is called the Dita jumper or the Dita top. And this was one that I uh, got using some store credit that I had back in April. And it's gone on to be sort of one of my favorites from the brand. It's a very, very fitted style and it's in their Eco Vero lensing fabric. So it has this really nice sort of, um, not quite velvety, but very plush and soft feel to the fabric. There is this really lovely little pattern to the ribbing, which hopefully you'll be able to see it on the website or in the cutaways, but that's what makes it feel special and unique. And Cezanne definitely do a really good job of focusing on the details. And then it has the little buttons here on the cuff and these are functional. So you could even have a bit of a split sleeve if you wanted. I got mine in the size small, would say definitely fits true to size. And this washes really well too. Uh, I had no issues with it. I did put it in a delicates bag though, because I was worried the fabric may snag, but came out looking just like new. So that's another really, really good one from the brand. Then let's talk about my, what's this one called? This The Chloe shirt. This one I purchased Oh, must have been a, a bit over a year ago now, maybe 14 months ago. And it's a really beautiful navy silk shirt. I really like this style as I think an alternative to your classic collared silk blouse for the office. I think that the details on it are just divine. They are so uh, delicate and very pretty sort of feminine. Has this lace embroidery detail around the collar here, which looks especially beautiful when it is worn open. It looks a little bit Victoriana when you wear it the whole way buttoned up. Uh, you do have a slight puff to the sleeve as well and uh, a little bit of gathering here at the front, which really helps the blouse to drape beautifully over the body. Um, and of course the really lovely silk covered buttons too. This one again is one that I think has really been worth it. I think it is just such a beautiful piece and really elegant, feels very luxurious, very refined. And I like how it looks with jeans as well. Looks really, really nice, sort of worn a little bit more dressed down. Um, this is one that does have to be dry clean though. So do want to flag that you are going to have a bit of an ongoing cost with this one. So if you aren't looking for a shirt that requires a little bit more maintenance like that, or that is high maintenance, then this may be one to avoid. I got it in the 36 and would say it fits true to size for a relaxed fit. Yeah, that's that one. Then onto one which 
is not really one of my favorites so as you can tell I really love a striped shirt I decided to get the Noan Marinia last year I purchased this because I really wanted to add a classic Breton strap top to my closet from the brand and I'm always on the hunt for the perfect one which I know the perfect Breton top doesn't exist it's always going to be ever-changing depending on my tastes and preferences at any given time and I'm quite fickle but I was drawn to this because again details are everything and what I liked was that on the sides of this particular uh, striped top it has these buttons here which are uh, navy enamel with the gold around the uh, edging here and you can unbutton those the whole way up which makes this actually a really practical option if you are pregnant or if you're breastfeeding and for me that was something that appealed because I knew at the time that I purchased this we were eventually going to be having a second child so I thought this would be perfect to wear throughout that period. I have to say that the fabric, so it's, a, it's an organic cotton, it is a really good quality cotton, it feels really really nice and, and plush, it has this really lovely hand feel to it um, and it is a little bit structured and I think with tops like this there is a time and a place. I perhaps would have preferred it if it was a little bit softer to the touch and I do find because I like to wear striped tops like this tucked in that the buttons are a little bit bulky on the sides. Uh, those are really minor grievances that I've got with this item otherwise it's held up really well goes in the wash really nicely it's a very kind of boxy loose fit through the body and then fitted through the sleeves the sleeves on me end a little bit above my wrist so they're not quite a full sleeve which is perfect if you are on the more petite end of the height spectrum I got this in my usual size small and I would say it does fit true to size but if you prefer a sort of roomier fit then you may want to go up a size but yeah that is the Noan Marinier um, like I said, those are very small niggles for me. It is otherwise a nice top. Then we have the Will Jacket. And I bought this late last year and I have actually never worn it. Every time I've gone to wear it, it hasn't quite felt right. And I, I don't know if it's just maybe that it's not my personal style, but I quite like the way that I styled it in the cutaway. So perhaps I just need to figure out some ways to wear it that create a little bit of friction or discord with the look. So I opted for the Ek Crew because I do love my neutrals and I thought that this would be the easiest one for me to add into my wardrobe and I got it in a size small. I do actually wish I'd sized up because it is quite a close cut fit I would say. Um, so if you do want to wear it a little bit more like a jacket you may want to get a larger size. Uh, the quality of it is really nice though. It's a cotton twill, almost like a denim, uh, and again it does have this really lovely hand feel to it. It's got the patch pockets on the front. Detail on the back is really quite simple. It just has this strip running down the center, which I think is really lovely. You can wear it open like an overshirt or a jacket, or you can actually wear it as a top buttoned up, and you could technically tuck this in. Uh, I quite like the way it looks with a few buttons done up and then the bottom of the jacket worn loose, and that would be my preferred way to wear it. Uh, but yeah, uh, in terms of the quality I think it is really really lovely I've got no complaints there for me it's more of a style factor is this really me or is it something that I purchased because I thought it would be a great addition to my wardrobe and it's just not really worked out so um, that's the will jacket then finally ending on two skirts and I think this is probably one of my favorite items from the brand uh, this is the Carolina skirt which I have in the black Ditsy floral. I love this little mini. I think it is so fun and flirty. I really like the ruffle detail and the fact that the hemline is ever so slightly asymmetrical in the front. It does have the zip up closure at the back here. I opted to get this in the 36 or the size US 4 and I would say it definitely fits true to size. I did originally also buy this in the midi skirt length but I found myself just only wanting to wear this one and it really is a perfect style if you do live in a super hot climate like I do. I found myself reaching for this a lot while the weather was still really warm here and being a black based floral it's also one that I can wear throughout the colder months too with a pair of tights. So Carolina skirt 100% worth it. I really love all of the prints that they tend to come out with. Um, at the moment on the website I think they've got a polka dot version and then a burgundy floral which is just divine. Um, so yeah that is the Carolina and then finally I have the Tammy skirt and this is another floral this is one of the bolder items I have in my closet it is a white base with a red and green 
floral pattern all over. The Tammy is again one of the brand's really classic styles that they bring back every single season. It has a side zip closure, it's got a flat band at the front and then it is elasticated at the waist at the back which I like as it means that you've got a little bit of freedom and it's a really good option if you are going to a barbecue and planning to indulge a little bit. This one is a midi skirt and it has the tiers and it also has this slit here at the front which gives the skirt really really beautiful movement which I really really like. Um, I, I think this is such a beautiful option for the spring summer months in particular. Um, I like to wear it quite simply with a little tank or something like that. I do find because of the elastic backing that the style runs ever so slightly large so I got it in the 34 or US 2. So that is the Tammy skirt, I think another really nice one. If you prefer a midi then you might like to opt for something like that over the Carolina. Now a couple of other quick points to mention before I wrap up this video. I've said this a few times but firstly the product photography on the website. It is absolutely beautiful and it really leans into the whole Parisian aesthetic. However, I often find that it is a little bit misleading or really difficult to tell what an item actually looks like on. So I have found myself sending back my fair share of returns over the past few years since I've been shopping from the brand. So that is the first thing. The second, I find their pricing structure sometimes really, really odd. Uh, I find it bizarre that you will often find a polyester piece on the site costs the same as a silk or merino item and for me there's a real discord there between the actual value and whether or not they should be priced accordingly so that is another thing with the brand um, and I think probably the third thing to mention is that in terms of where my successes have really been with my purchases over the years it has always been with the items that are made using more of their sustainably sourced materials so anything that is in a natural fiber or the Eco Vero lensing fabric is really great too. That is kind of the other things that I really wanted to mention before I wrapped up this video. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, for spending some of your day with me. And I hope if you're planning to make a purchase from Cezanne that you found this video really helpful and informative uh, to drive your decision. If you would like to see more videos like this from me, then please do hit the subscribe button and I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you very soon. Bye.